oh man that's a nice trout and it's it's a run which is pretty shallow and I didn't notice but maybe it came from the right okay let's see if we can attract its attention once again that that's the moment that we go fishing for So this time it followed. Oh, now it saw me. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Hmm. It it goes quite fast actually, and the movement because it's it wobbles, it's more difficult for fish to attack. The hook is also pretty small. We'll have probably to change. By the way, the fish went after it again but maybe now it lost interest but man two fish in a row that are showing themselves but are not coming out I'm trying to irritate the hell out of this trout. <sighs> now, because this is a shallow run, getting a, a fish would actually be quite cool wouldn't be able to dive it would probably go I don't know upstream probably but it could go downstream so it could be quite interesting I'm changing back to the spinner I also have something I rarely use this this is a a uh, floating rubber worm, something I learned from American YouTubes and it's already also used in, in Europe. Mm. It's a pretty good thing, but I can't equip it so quickly. So and I still have little experience with fishing it. Maybe sometime, someday I will do a segment where we'll be fishing just that rubber worm, but that won't happen soon. So, I'm pretty surprised, but the fish didn't go out at all. Maybe it... Hmm. Now I'm wondering. Maybe it swam away. Maybe it's now elsewhere. But two casts and fish didn't show itself. So it is either no longer there, or it really doesn't find... So, this is not the fish that we are after. But, as you can see, the spinner, it worked to get us a small trout. Which we didn't get before on a spoon. But, the spoon managed to attract a larger trout that seems to be completely 
not interested in the spinner so I don't know I don't bloody know That's of the river switched into this deep and slow mode. And I get the feeling that although I got some fish in such stretches, but the best ones have been fast. And you saw that last fish we engaged with. was in the, in, the, in the fast current and where, where there is not so many water actually but nevertheless the, the current is concentrating there is an undercut and it was there and that, that was a pretty nice fish it would, it would have been really cool to hook it in that current but yeah, I'll I think. Okay, that was unexpected. It's not a large fish, but w wow. Did you see those jumps? No, I wouldn't mind if it, if it actually... Oh, it came off. So, I said I wouldn't mind if it would come off and it came off. So, well, let's count this one. Let's count this one. Uh, it was similar to the first one, I, I would suspect. Something in high 30s. Uh, 38 maybe centimeters that's like 15 inches I think at least but the fight was was like as if it was 42 centimeters the fight was beyond its size the only thing I'm not really happy about is that it took after I was actually leaving the spot uh, I don't know if you notice it, but I actually made several casts over that structure. And then I was wading by, but I was keeping the spinner in the water, as I usually do. So it wasn't really a proper retrieval. And I, as I was wading and the spinner started moving against the current, it attacked it and it, it happened very close to to me 